All right, everybody, welcome to another Pathfinder Battles Miniature Unboxing. I've got another full case for you. This is from 2018, and this is the Pathfinder Battles Kingmaker series, which uh, there are a total of 32 packs in a case, which are bundled in eight packs. They're called bricks for a total of 32. So uh, I was able to get a full case. Uh, they are still available on the paizo.com website from Pathfinder themselves. If you have the subscription for Pathfinder Battles, uh, you save a ton of money. Uh, you only spend $266 for a case, which is amazing. Uh, and I've already opened up all of these, put them in this container, except for the last two packs. So there's a total of 48 miniatures in the set. There are 43 regular miniatures between heroes and monsters, and then there are also five dungeon dressing items as well for a total of 48. So, yeah, there's a, a good chance I'll get a good mix here. You know, when you get up into the sets or the series with, you know, 55 and 60, 65 miniatures, it just, you know, you're very strung out because of the, the high mini count. So let's... Uh, Let's get going. I always save a couple of packs so I can tear up my fingers for you. There we go. You know, there's four miniatures in a pack. Uh, so there's three smalls and mediums. And then there's one large. So that looks like a, like a saber tooth or something like that. Yep. Uh, nope, not a saber tooth. It's called something else. And here's the second pack. I'm going to open that up. And I save a couple of packs just so you can see, you know, what is inside of the boxes. Well, wow, that's actually some good tape. And this set is from 2018, so it is a fairly recent, uh, fairly recent set. So, all right. So there's uh, four minis. Uh, looks like a stone giant, maybe. All right. So I'm going to get these. Uh, stowed away and thrown away to the side here so we can get going and start seeing what we get so i like to start with all of the large miniatures first uh, so we'll start with uh, the one that i got and you'll notice that i'll also be zooming in zooming out focusing all the time just so you guys uh, know if you're new pretty much everything will be blurred in the background and that's so i can show everything to you guys uh close up so this is a smilodon 30 of 45 uh there are I, I will tell you before we get going there are a total of 14 commons usually you get about three or four commons per case especially when you have a, a good mini count like you know what kingmaker does uh, there are a total of 15 uncommon miniatures uh, actually, there are more than that. There are 15, 16, 17 uncommons. And then there are, wow, there's really not that many rares. There are a total of 12 rare minis. And rares, you usually get one of each. You're guaranteed one of each. And then the uncommons, you usually get two, maybe three. So, and then, not, like I said, there's five, ooh, five really cool dungeon dressings. There's a barbarian throne that looks really awesome. So, all right, we're going to get going. This is uh, 30 of 45. So, 30 of 45 is a, an uncommon. So, I'll get a couple of these and uh, put that up on the wheel. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, wow, that's not a, I thought that was like a stone giant, but that's actually a, a large spriggan. So that's, that's, I thought Spriggans were usually smaller, but not in Pathfinder. Wow. Wow, nice looking mini. I like that. I like that big stone. It's really top heavy. So I wonder if it's going to, it's shitting with a large 2x2 two two base. You know, all of these large minis I'm doing now have a 2x2 two two base, but this Spriggan looks awesome. I mean, you could technically use him as a, as like a stone giant too. Yeah, that looks really good. All right. Totally fooled me. So uh, I do like to put one of each up on the wheel and then all the doubles I, I put down. So, And I didn't have any problems at all with the large Spriggan. I mean, it, it's very sturdy. So uh, here's another one of the Smiling Dawns. 
I don't mind getting three of each of those. Oh, wow, look at that, a troll leader. Actually, the troll leader is uncommon. So I should, wow, look at that troll, dude. That troll looks amazing. Wow. This is like one of the better trolls that I've seen. Wow, that's actually a really nice troll. I like that arm. Look at that arm. Arm guard. Spike club. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, uncommon. I should get another one. Troll leader. Yeah, that's that's a that's a great looking mini. And of course, you're not going to be able to see everything on the on the large minis, but that's okay. I'm I'm not adjusting. Oh wow, is that an that is an Oni Mage or an Oni Mage? Very nice. Twenty eight or forty five. That's going to be an uncommon. I wouldn't mind having a couple of those. Casting a spell. Oh, it looks really good. Look at that. Like I said, you're gonna everything in the background is pretty much gonna be blurred, so yeah, that looks so good. That on matrix good. Oh, ooh, is that um oh, okay, so here's here's a hill giant, and that's actually a really nice size for a, a hill giant. Twenty nine and forty five. I love how uh Paizo puts the KM, the symbols for you know, Kingmaker. So when you mix your minis up, you're able to see them because of the white ink and because of the, you know, the initials to the series, which was a big flaw in all of the early series of Icons of the Realms. I think they're doing it now, but uh, I haven't I haven't picked up the last couple series. But yeah, looks good. That's a good looking, good looking Hell Giant. I wouldn't mind having a couple of those. It'd be cool if there was a female version also. Yeah, good looking mini though. Twenty nine to forty five, uncommon. Should get a couple of those. Hopefully not too many. Oh wow, is this uh like a giant naga or something like that? Yeah, this is a swamp naga. Yeah, they've actually done a good job with creating nagas because there's not a lot of naga minis out there. But I've actually seen quite a few, two or three or four now, throughout all the different uh, Pathfinder uh, series. Another uncommon 27 or 45, so, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, moving on. So, I, I like to do, oh, is this a mana core? Dude, no way. That is a mana core. There's been, there's probably, I know there's one in uh, Heroes and Monsters in the first series ever. There's one in Legendary Adventures and now this mana core. So, I think there's at least three mana cores. This looks good. This is a huge, large miniature. This thing is massive for a large mini. <clears throat> and it's nice that you don't have to, you know, clip the wings in. And so, yeah, this is a nice mana core. Really nice mana core. That's a big mini for, for a 2x2 two two large. That's actually a really, really, really large mini. So, and I just keep piling up all the doubles and stuff back here. Here's another, here's a double for... Uh, uh, a naga here oh wow what is this a white settle oh wow look at that it's like a badger with a a hand for on a tail that's cool 43 of 45 so this is definitely a rare i'll only get one of these but this is actually a really cool mini a whizzitol I'd be cool if they actually put, like, the, in parentheses, the pronunciation. That would be cool. Yeah, that mana core is really nice. It's actually a really nice mini. I like that mana core. It's my favorite favorite mini so far in the set. So I'm going to start putting some of these mediums over to the side so I can keep digging out these rares. Oh, and the mana core. It's actually, wow, the mana core actually is an uncommon. So I got another mana core. Which is cool. I figured that would have been a rare, but it's not. Wow, that's cool. Definitely, I'll take it. I like that. Holy cow, that's really cool. Here are a couple more Sabertooth, the Smilodons. 
I got three of those. I don't don't think I need any more of those. So uh, please no more. <laughs> Trying to find all these larges and kind of put them to the side. Oh wow, that's a big one. Is that another frost giant? Yeah, it is. Wow. There's been frost giants in like the last three cases that I've opened. Interesting. All right, so here's some more larges. All right, so here is another large spriggan. It's my second one of the third one of those actually. Here is oh look at him. He's a yarl, frost giant yarl, uh, forty two of forty five. He's definitely rare. He's uh, he's got a good look to him. Wow, nice beautiful detail. Holy cow. Wish all the minis had this kind of kind of detail. But there are a lot of frost giants, so I I will say that there are quite a few frost giants. I've, and here's another mana core, so no more mana cores. I've I've got I got mana cores coming out of my ears, I think. And I got frost giants too coming out of my ears. But that's that's a rare, so that's that's cool. Uh, he's he's huge. He is a massive large miniature, and miniatures that are large are two by two. So here's another another hill giant. Here's another uh, another oni mage. Here's another oni mage. So I got three oni mages. No more, no more oni mages, please. But uh, I'm sure I'll probably get another one because it doesn't look like there's a lot of larges in this series. So I'll look like I'll get a bunch of duplicates. There's another uh, troll leader. Uh, what is that? Like a blob of green. Oh, it's like a bush. It must be one of the one of the dungeon dressings. So, uh oh, look at this. Here we go. Got a, and I got this from Paizo. I got this case from Paizo. When I get them from Miniature Market, I don't get broken minis. But here we go. Oh my God! Look at his feet. Are literally. How does this happen, Paizo? I mean, seriously. How do his legs snap off? Dude, what are you guys doing? Are you guys throwing these things around the warehouse? I mean, what is going on? But I only get broken minis from Paizo. I mean, it's easily fixable. I use this uh, this unbelievable super glue gel with you know the squeezing control. I mean, this is really nice. It was a couple bucks on Amazon. And uh, I recommend getting it. It's called Loctite. Yeah, Loctite. This stuff is awesome. Man, thanks to uh, Bell for telling me about that. But yeah, look at that. How does that miniature, how does how do those feet get snapped off? Dude, that is like, that's insane. I don't know. Anyways, put that to the side. That's, a, that's another video altogether. I mean, I've got, I'm going to be doing a, a fix-it video. I've got about 40 miniatures from Paizo that i got to fix. Literally, I've got like 40 miniatures that I have to fix. That's going to be hours of fixing miniatures. And I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to tweet it to... And these are all minis I got from, from the Paizo warehouse. My fourth on image. Please, no more of these. I don't want any more of those. Oh, here's a big old horde of larges here on this side. Uh, my fourth saber tooth, no more of those. My third troll, I'm, I'm happy with three of these. Oh my goodness, more spriggans, large spriggan. Fourth one, no more of those, please. Uh, but there you go, there's a fifth one. What is it? These gotta be these gotta be rares, maybe. There's another, an, oops, sorry. There's another couple Nagas. So, a couple more. Here is a, this must be a rare. Oh, a Cyclops Lich? Wow, look at that. Holy cow. That's a unique creature. That is actually really nice looking. Wow. 40 or 45, definitely rare. That's for sure. Wow. Nice looking. Oh, one eye. Looks good. There's the there's the Yarl. Oh my goodness. 
five Spriggins. I like that Spriggin, but damn, five of them? I don't like them that much. <laughs> got another uh, got another hill giant. That's cool. So that's my, what, my third hill giant? I would rather got five hill giants than Spriggins, but is this another rare? A soul, soul Gorger, 41 of 45. Oh, wow, that looks good, too. Holy cow. That actually looks awesome. Another large mini, two by two. I think this is the last large I got. Oh, no, there's, oh, there's a, a fifth saber tooth. Soul Gorger. That looks good, though. That's rare, for sure. I only get one of those, so. I think that's it for larges, everyone. I think that's it. So I'm going to put all of these back into the containers. You can see there's about another 90 or so that i got to start opening and spreading them out. So I'm going to take all these off the large wheel. I'll leave that. Uh, I'll leave those two rares up there. So, all right, here we go with the smalls and uh, smalls and mediums. That's a shame about that giant. I mean, he's literally snapped off on the ankles, which that would have to be hard to break. So uh, here is a, oh, is this an ant? Oh, this is an ant swarm. No way. Let me focus in a little bit more on that. Whoa, look at that. There's like a skull. Dude, that is an awesome swarm. I, I will say this about Paizo and their swarms. Their swarms are amazing. I mean, Wizards of the Coast, their swarms can't compare to these. I'm sorry. And I have all of them, but they can't compare. This is a beautiful swarm. That is an ant swarm right there. And that is number 445. So that's common. So I should get three or four of those, which I would be totally happy about getting that many. That is cool. Here's somebody that's green. Who is this? This is... Uh, let me adjust my focus a little more. My my apologies, everybody. 20 of 45. This is an elf ghost. Oh, wow. That looks good. Elf ghost. You could use that as a fey as well. Oh, and he's kind of he's kind of hovering. He's got the new type of peg. That's that's the good peg right there. Well, this is from 2018, so elf ghost 20 of 45. That is an uncommon. Dude, I do like that ant swarm. That ant swarm is pretty cool. I hope I get like three or four of those. I really do. I should, seeing that it is common. So, what is this, Spriggan? Yep, I guessed it. <laughs> That's how I thought Spriggans were <laughs> this size. But those Spriggan giants, holy cow, those are, those are huge. He's got a hand crossbow. He's got a club. Oh, look at that. Nice looking armor. Great looking mini. I like that. That's a common, so I should get three or four of them, which is uh, which is okay. I'm happy with that. Totally happy with that. What the heck is this? Oh, I thought it was something weird, but it's definitely humanoid. That's that's for sure. Oh wow! Look at that female. It looks like an elf. Yeah. Jethol, elf inquisitor, female. Wow, she looks awesome. Is this the iconic hero for the uh, Elf Inquisitor? I'm not too sure. Somebody let me know in the comment section, please. Yeah, she looks really good. I like that. Inquisitor. Very cool. Good looking minis. At least she doesn't have a beard like the merchant from uh, Rusty Dragon. Holy cow, that was horrible. <laughs> Here's a I think this is a gnome. Jubilost, Gnome Alchemist, 14 of 45. So the elf and this gnome, they are, yeah, these are, this is common, I think. Is the alchemist common one? Yes, Jubilus is common. So I wouldn't mind having a couple of these, not too many, but I, I wouldn't mind. But the, the elf is uh, Jethel. She is a, uh, she's uncommon. So I will get a couple of her. What is this? Ah, oh, no way. Here's one of the one of the dungeon dressings. Look at that. A scarecrow. Now I wouldn't mind having another I wouldn't mind having another one of these because usually 
in the cases that do have dungeon dressing, it seems all of the cases that I've opened, there's always a couple of doubles of, of this uh, dungeon dressing. I wouldn't mind having another scarecrow. That's a cool looking scarecrow. There are a couple of other scarecrow creatures too. Finding a bunch of empty bags. Is this a fairy drake? Maybe? The Fey Dragon. Yeah, this is number one. This is a small mini. Nice mini, though. I mean, honestly. Great color. I wouldn't mind having a couple more of these. I mean, I'm going to get a couple more anyway. I mean, they are number one. They are common. And usually all the smalls are, you know, up front. So, yeah, good looking mini, though. I'll take, I'll take a couple more of those. This is another small mini. Looks like another gnome. Probably another one of those Jubilost. He's common, so I should get more. Oh no, this is actually a bard? Lindsay, halfling bard. Okay, so this is the first uncommon mini. And look at that. That is a great looking bard. I'm so glad that Pathfinder does, they do a good job of diversity on classes, on sex on the miniatures, on, you know, skin colors they do a really good job and I, I really need to give a hat uh, hats off to paizo for doing that so yeah uncommon Lindsay, the halfling bard i'll probably get a couple of those so it's okay be cool to have a you know a town of halflings and of course you'll have halflings so Ooh, what is this this is a shadow rogue 10 of 45 so this is common you could use these for look at that dude she's got a six pack yeah look at that big old ear though what happened there oh, good look that's a good looking mini you could use these as as your rogue character you could use these as a ranger i mean you could you could use these as cultists you could use these as bandits i mean a lot of versatility with this with this mini Shadow Rogue. I'll get a couple more. I, I don't mind having a couple more or something like that. So, yeah, good looking mini though. Very nice looking.